Well, hey, hi, Patricia. How are you doing? Uh, hello, Karen Wall. It's good to see you. Hello, Doug. JDK's in the house. Hi, Lupla. How you doing, dear? Hi, Joyce. How are you? My tribe of creatives coming on here. Hi, hello, Sarge G. Good to see you tonight. I got my uh, troop of usual suspects. Max Sheldon. How you doing there, Mr. Chef Extraordinaire? Travis Taylor. Hello. And then we have Arshad Sedequa. I am doing doing okay. I'm in Roswell. I'm doing fantastic, actually. I'm in Roswell, New Mexico. I had a beautiful drive today. <clears throat> I'm here at my uh, my first air and B in a long time. Uh, well, since uh, uh, since India, I stayed in Airbnbs throughout India, and I'm here with uh, uh, Sarah, our my host. Yes, my hostess. Can I put you on? You see, you want to yeah. say hi? Uh, I mean, just sit down. I was gonna oh. flip flip it up, and when okay. you just wanna. Yeah. And she's here, and usually I have a house to myself, but Sarah knows the director of the museum that I'm gonna be at next week for my summer art camp in Roswell. It's the Anderson Museum of Contemporary Art, my favorite contemporary museum on the planet. I'll tell you more about that. But here, <laughs> let me have you say hi to Sarah. There's Sarah. Hello. She's my host, and I'm in her house. So it's just filled with artwork everywhere you look. <laughs> just look at, and she's doing art here on the table. Oh, here, she's you. making her clay. She's doing these wonderful. Can, can I can I show one of these? They're yeah, just, sure. They're just remarkable. She's carving these out of clay to make tiles. I'm gonna make tiles. And plaster molds. And, and she, her garage tiles. is an entire uh, uh, ceramic studio. I just, I already bought it one dish. <laughs> uh, I mean, I'm serious. You get, I really want that. It's, yeah, it's amazing. It's actually it, incredible. <laughs> and then uh, look at over here. There's my coffee for the morning. <laughs> but there's just art everywhere. But anyways, uh, this is a Memorial Day. This is dedicated to all of you amazing uh, men and women who are serving in uniform. Um, and I was telling... Sarah, I'm going to make it through this webcast without weeping like a baby. I'm just, uh, it's dedicated to two very dear friends, um, uh, Angela and Levi, uh, Angela, the ultimate warrior, and she's having the greatest struggle of her life dealing with her uh, cancer, and God bless her. She's uh, the, uh, a fierce soldier and just a dear, dear uh, friend. Uh, we just we all just met over a year ago. The VFW post fourteen forty two, uh, Levi the uh, contact there. Uh, he's like Mister Awesome Commander Lieutenant. I, I I'm sorry I forgot what role he is there. An important person invited me <clears throat> to be the community outreach. <clears throat> excuse me for the VFW post fourteen forty two up in Beaver Creek, Washington. <clears throat> and so we built a whole uh, children's family art camp and they extend this free to all VFW families and then for all of the uh, families around they uh, for Beaver Creek Washington and uh, Portland Oregon and all the surrounding area they offer it for the summer camp for half off it's $49 compared to the 199 that I charge elsewhere so it's like 75% off so that's the art camp and thank you vfw post 1442 for inviting me back this summer the dates are uh july just want to let you know if you're a vfw family and i have uh july 29th through august 1 and it's going to be in beaver creek uh beaver creek washington beaver creek washington I'm sorry, Oregon, Beaver Creek, Oregon. And this is uh, for VFW families and all the community uh, who want to uh, get involved in this cultural arts family event. VFW post 1442, thank you. Now, I have four important things on my fireplace mantle at home. We're going to draw this in just a second, but I'm going to tell you a little story. On my mantle at home, I have four things that are very precious. I know you're not at your house, but video is blurry. Okay. Uh, how about now? Is it any better now? I'm on her, her uh, website. How about now? 
Okay, let me see. Do you have a... I'll use this. Okay, uh, yeah, the Wi-Fi's on. Is it, is it still blurry, you guys? What about now? Give me an A5V5. Is that better? Okay, I'm thinking it could have been just... Oh, you know what? I have a lens wipe. Let me do that because I've been... It could be my fingerprints. But anyways, I have four things. It's a story that I'll, I'll tell you while I'm going to clean the lens here. Um, always carry lens wipe. So I have four things on my fireplace mantle that I treasure, okay? Um, of course, everybody's going to say, oh, pictures of your children. Well, pictures of my kids are in the very front entrance on the right there when you walk in. You get all the pictures of the family and my parents and all that. All right, so it's a focus thing. All right. There, how's that? Is that any better, Sarge G? I'm going to go ahead and, and wipe this off just in case. All right, now let's see if that helps. Okay, uh, f item number one. Item number one on this is my Emmy. I treasure that. I value that. Uh, not very many people have an Emmy, and I have one, so I'm proud of it. Proud of what we did as a team to, to win that for uh, educational children's television. The second thing on my uh, my fireplace mantle is this incredible puppet, this amazing puppet of me that one of my uh, wonderful art camp teachers and old viewer student, Tommy, uh, Tommy, <clears throat> um, uh, Tommy Tunes, ah, Tommy Sims. Tommy Sims created this puppet for me and it's on my fireplace mantle. It's amazing. The other thing I have on my fireplace mantle is from uh, Jack Moore from NASA. I have a, a hat, NASA hat he signed for me. And I have an original, real authentic uh, space station patch that he gave me. And I asked him to sign it. He said he wouldn't sign it because that is an official patch and he just that that's not the key he signed the hat but he wouldn't sign it because that's how real the patch was it was actually from the astronaut so that's really cool so thank you jack now the fourth thing i have on my mantle i have four things and it's from vfw post to 1442 then it's a letter of thanks from uh, from them and their their whole the leadership signed it, and it's a certificate framed in a hat that they all signed. And it's from, uh, and I just treasure it. It's just appreciation of uh, what I'm doing and what I did in their community to, uh, with their post, to reach out for the families to uplift people with imagination and creativity. So I treasure that. Thank you, VFW Post, for for giving me that and for. Um, and for you veterans for standing out there on the walls and protecting us and keeping us safe and, you know, just um, being the uh, the amazing, brave soldiers you are. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So we're going to draw this right now, guys. This is dedicated to all of our uh, men and women in uniform, all of our uh, fallen vets who uh, paid the ultimate price for on the altar of freedom. We are indebted to you for our life and way, the way we, we uh, the way we are able to live. <clears throat> so I'm gonna draw a flag. I'm gonna draw a beautiful American flag on this Memorial Day in honor of all of our, our nation's finest. Okay, so we're gonna draw a flag and I'm trying to keep it focused for you guys. Can you guys give me a, uh, um, can you give me a, 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 how are you doing on the A1 uh, audio video? I, I, I'm trying to get the focus going better for you guys. And it's, it's, it is being a challenge for me. Let's see. Does that help at all? All right. So what we're going to do is I'm going to take this. I'm going to draw the flag. Here, where it's going to be, this is a four shortened loop is going to loop out and come in here in the center here. Okay, I'm going to open it up just a bit. It's not going to be a squish because i got to put the the ribbons, the right, the stripes, the 13 stripes, the 50 stars. And I think you need more light. Audio 5 bounces, video bounces 2 to 5. Okay. 
Well, we're just, this is live, raw, unedited, and this is the best that we can do. So well, tomorrow I'll be actually in the museum on a stronger Wi-Fi. So thank you for being patient with me on this. Uh, thank you, thank you, guys. Now, up here, watch this. I'm going to move up halfway. I'm going to curve this flag away from you. And I want to draw a really awesome eagle on top up here. The eagle, the symbol of our nation's freedom. Put it up here, and then I'm going to draw the at the eagle's head. And I'm going to put draw the eagle's beak coming down here. And now... Uh, I want to know if Angela and Levi from Beaver Creek, Oregon, if they're able to come on. This is dedicated to you two and uh, Emily, your daughter. Thank you for uh, for you know making me part of your guys' lives and inviting me in uh, to your homes last summer. So there's the Eagles starting here, and then I'm gonna draw the fur or the feathers right now watch this I'm gonna have the wings spread up and then have it it kind of goes up and it goes out it goes up and it goes out like this all right you guys with me focus it again and nope not no problem I can see I can see what's going on. All right, well, thank you for putting up with us, you guys. Let's draw this, the, the wings here coming across. This is the joy going live, right? It doesn't matter where we are. And uh, thank you to my hostess, Sarah, for letting me uh, just take over her entire workshop. She had to turn off all the music and everything. Hi, Michael, I sent you your stuff. Michael Williams, I sent you your uh, your art. Okay, here, let's put the rows of feathers. Okay, and then there's gonna be big feathers down here. This is called contour lines. I'm adding some contour lines. And it just scribble, just get just get this in here. So what, you guys, uh, any veterans in our group? Do we have any vets in our group that we can salute and thank you for paying such a, such a personal and such a powerful price for us for all of us who have never served we appreciate you and we want to let you know that any vets here hi Edmund hi Michael so anybody what's what's Memorial Day mean to you when I think of Memorial Day I think of uh, when my brothers and I were uh, where we were when uh, with the, the first Iraq war, Desert Storm, and how grateful we were that we had, I mean, we were all like too old, right? Because we were in our uh, third deep thirties, but we were all feeling so, so grateful that all the, the, our nation's young, brightest and best were able to, to serve the duty and just thank you so much. My grandfather was a Canadian vet. Well, my father was a lieutenant commander in the Navy, and he was a psychiatrist, and he helped a lot of the returning vets from Vietnam uh, come in. So I remember, I remember that when I was growing up. I mean, I was born in 1963, so that was uh, during that history in our country. And he was uh, helping them as much as he could so I'm going to put another row of, of, uh, Gregory, your, uh, grandfather was a Canadian vet in World War I. Uh, any other, uh, look at this. I'm putting rows of, uh, feathers for the eagle. I'm going to put another smaller row here. What does the Memorial Day mean to you? Send us, send a text. Everybody send us a text. Memorial Day means to me just the gratitude for you uh, men and women in the uniform. I, I never, never uh, was called or pushed to serve. We, I, My generation, we slid right in between conflicts. And so uh, I just 
very, very glad that you guys are, are, are there for us. Now watch this. Also, I remember going into, this is before the wall uh, came down in uh, Berlin. I was over there when I was 23, 24 years old. And I remember being in East, uh, in West Germany, going into, uh, going to West Berlin, going into East Berlin. We're gonna go, we were going through Checkpoint Charlie, me and my friend. And uh, I had a Pink Floyd t-shirt on and I had to turn it inside out. Uh, and because it was against the rules of the uh, the East German, the East, the, you know, the the East German, uh, you know, police. And I remember just when I went in there, we had to check in with the Marines at Checkpoint Charlie in East Germany before we went over there to East um, to East Berlin. It was in Berlin. It was in West Germany. And we had to go through the wall, right? Well, <clears throat> my whole life, I grew up in Carlsbad, California, which is just south of Oceanside Camp Pendleton. And we used to give the Marines such a hard time. And even the, the, the cadets at the Army Navy Academy, we were just surf, the surf rats, right? And we would just, we would, uh, we never heckled them, but we just, we didn't, we weren't respectful, you know, we just, we were idiots. And uh, I, and I tell you, and that didn't really come into tr focus till I was 23 years old, coming back from East Berlin after spending a day in East Berlin, in the uh, East, you know, in the, uh, the communist, uh, e the Eastern Bloc there, and coming back over and I walked up to the Marines there at Checkpoint Charlie, and I, I thanked them. Uh, I thanked them for their service, and I, I said, hey, dudes, were any of you in Camp Pendleton? And a few of them said, yeah, but some, most of them were from the East Coast. But the ones that were in Camp Pendleton, I go, dudes, you know, it's California surf. I said, dudes, I'm so sorry for all the times I was disrespectful to you guys. Thank you for standing here on this wall for us. And that was a that was a very huge learning. That's why I think that that the the kids need to go. The high school kids when they get out of high school, college, they need to go. They need to go to Europe. They need to go see the world. They need to see how how important freedom is and how uh, the uh, other countries live and how other countries talk and how other uh, uh, other values and uh, communicate and and that's how we can solve problems by getting more exposure and more experience and more face-to-face -face with our our kids with their kids, you know? Kids, our 20-year-olds and 30-year-olds out exploring the world. I, uh, I was uh, still am a big believer in the high school graduates going over for a few months, going overseas and seeing the world. All right. Now, let's tuck this in here. All right, so we're gonna draw this beautiful. Uh, so let me see here, any other comments for what? So Gregory is talking about there's a street named after his grandfather. That's fantastic. What's your grandfather's name, Gregory? From World War One, his grandfather was a Canadian vet. What was his name, what was his rank? Can you uh, tell us? And Edmund is a uh, uh, Iraq. A vet, uh, he was in Iraq from July uh, 2009 to October 2011. Uh, thank you, Edmund, for your service. We are grateful and indebted to your service. Absolutely indebted to your service, sir. Uh, Joyce replied, thank you, Joyce. Joyce is thanking Edmund. And Anne, growing up, Memorial was referred to as Decoration Day, we would visit the graves of family, and Arthur, uh, and he said that they would go to the visit the graves of their family and decorate the graves and pay their respects. Nicholas Caesar, hi guys. We're sharing, what, what does Memorial Day mean to you? Memorial Day to me means Checkpoint Charlie, means uh, when it was still there. It means thanking those Marines for, for standing there and uh, 
guarding, you know, protecting us civilians. And it means, uh, more and day means to me, is the, remember when the desert storm started and how grateful we were for the dedicated men and women in, this, uh, in the uniform. Philip, his name was Philip uh, Dolbeck. And you don't remember his rank on the spot, but thank you to your grandfather. We salute his uh, his time in the service his, and his dedication. Thank you. Okay, I'm going to put a... Now we're going to put stripes, right? So I put it in just a bit here. Hi, Chris Pennington. So uh, I, w I was hoping Angie, uh, Angela, and Levi would come on. But if you guys uh, are up in, in, in Beaver Creek, Washington, I'm doing a, a wonderful summer camp. Look, and now I'm going to put the stripes on the flag. I'm going to start at the top, and I'm going to come. I'm going to follow the line above it, and I'm going to tuck it down here. It's going to be 13 stripes, right? And curve it, curve it even more than you think you have to. that wonderful all right well thank you guys and uh, uh what where are you from and where is it at and if you want to share what memorial day means to you that that would be great now i'm just i'm hoping here let's see here one two three four five six i'm gonna have to split these up seven eight nine ten 11, 12, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Uh, one more. 12, 13. Wow, we got him in there. 13 stripes. And I'm not quite sure here, but I'm going to fake it. All right, so now we're going to do the. I'm going to darken in the top stripe. And this is where the comes in handy to have our paper stomp or blending stomp. So I'll go to the next one. Hi, Sonny. How are you doing? I salute all of our uh, uniform soldiers out there serving in uniform. I appreciate your service. I salute you, I applaud you, thank you for your dedication. Here we go. Now I'm in Roswell, I drove uh, quite a long ways today, it's like a four hour drive with stops. And it, of course it said it was two and a half hours on the GPS, yeah right. And uh, got here, I'm staying at the Airbnb, I went and set up the my summer camp at the uh, Anderson Museum of Contemporary Art. It's such a fantastic museum. It's so fun. It's so awesome. And they, uh, we have over 60 families coming tomorrow. So tomorrow the, uh, the webcast will be from inside the museum. Hey, how's the, uh, how, how's the video right now? Guys, is the video any event? Joshua Brett Brettel. He just said hi, Sonny. Joshua Brettel. <laughs> okay, I'm not quite sure who Joshua Brettel is, but hi, Joshua Brettel. Hi, Sonny. How are you? Hi, Ryan. Good to see you. Thanks for coming on and drawing with us. We're drawing a flag for our Memorial Day. A salute, waving our flag. Day of patriotism and of respecting um, those men and women who are just uh, give, given their uh, service to the country. Now let's go ahead and put some stars. I'm going to put uh, I don't know how many we're going to put 50 but I don't know how many per row. Does anybody know how many per row? I'm going to kind of figure it out here. I know that they're offset. They're not all in a row but we want to kind of 
I'm not going to do the detail. I just want to get the impression, right? Okay. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, fifty. Okay, there's fifty. All right, so now I'm going to darken a little bit more back here. Now, I'm going to use my Stompy if I can find it. All right. I'm going to do a little, little value. Little value on the flag inside the the center here. Maybe, maybe just a little bit in there. Then I'll darken in that top edge, make it flapping. Isn't that cool, you guys? Maybe a little more. Underneath the, maybe on the wings, the feathers of the eagle. And there you go. Memorial Day saluting to our men and women in the military and all those who gave their lives for our country. We salute you. We remember you. We celebrate you. There you go. Look at that. There's, there's our flag. And then I'll sign it down here. Thank you guys for drawing with me and for watching. Uh, even when even when I'm tired, and even when you're tired, we're, we're sticking through it. We're going to make it work because we are on our 180 days of drawing every day. Maybe even making it to more than that, but we'll see. Thank you guys for drawing with me. Uh, thank you for supporting the Imagination Initiative. Come on out. If you're near Roswell, come to my summer art camp. If you're near Beaver Creek, sign up for that one. You go to my website. You can look at all the 11 locations I'll be at this summer. Follow me on Instagram. Watch me on Amazon Prime. And please do uh, go to Imagination Initiative and support us with a one-time donation or with a monthly gift. That'd be awesome. Thank you, guys. You're amazing. There it is. Let's give that whole picture with the sun. There we go. All right. Thank you, guys. I'll talk to you tomorrow when we're more, more lively, more energetic. Bye, guys.